Yeah. Okay, so what we are going to do today is we are going to talk about making lidded jars. On your lidded jar, basically you want okay. to not have it just flat so it doesn't slide off. Okay, does that make sense? So you're going to probably make one of two different things. So this one right here is basically a baby what? Bowl. Yeah, it's basically a baby bowl. Baby hat. That will fit there. And then this one has a little lip on it and goes like that. Now, generally, you're going to find cookie jars looking like this. Why? So it's airtight. No. So when you grab your hand into the cookie jar, why is your hand going to get fatter? Because you're um, extending your Because you're grabbing all your cookies, right, and you're pulling it out. So generally, you're going to want something more on the lid so that your body can be more smooth so that when you go in and grab out, it's going to be a better fit. Um, for this one, this one will sit more in, and this is called the gallery, and it will sit more down like, like so, okay? Different feels, and it's completely up to you how you want to go about this. But I'm going to show you how to do them on the wheel. Do you have to work on the wheel and make these on the wheel? No. No, absolutely not. But I'm going to show you, so in case you do. If you do want to make them on the wheel, I can help you. Okay, so let me know and I can get you, get you going from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to make the body of the lidded jar. Okay, and the form of this can be whatever you want your shape to be, right? Now if I'm not trimming my bottom, how sh thick should my bottom be? Fourth of an inch. Fourth of an inch, awesome. Follow me so far. Okay, now from here, I can pull up, I can shape it, do whatever I want. I'm not really worried about it because I'm not gonna keep this, but you get the idea. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm leaving this top a little thick right now because I'm gonna use it for my next um, example. But for me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure the width. And this thing right here is called a caliper. It's awesome because this measurement is the same as this measurement. Follow me so far? Whoa. So I use this to measure the what? Inside or outside? Inside. Inside, okay. I'm going to pause momentarily. And then I'm going to make you a lid. So we're going to go here. Now, I don't need as much clay, obviously. Same kind of process. Now, if I put a flange on my lid, I'm going to need more clay because it's got an extra lip. So I will use more clay for my lid if I'm trying to put a flange there. So I'm gonna pull wide, I'll pull up. And I probably don't need this much clay. Take that off. And I'm going to make this little like ridge for this to sit on. Now, this measurement right here, I can go way wider. And so we shall. Once again, if you want to do this, what can I do? I can help you. Yeah, exactly. So don't freak out. I'm going to use this guy. What was this tool? Wooden rib. And I want to make this an obtuse angle so that it sits in there well. Obtuse is greater than what? 90. Yep, 90 degrees. So then it can fit that way. So if I pause, I gotta see how this looks. I can grab it, hopefully I don't drop it. And I could make that lid a little bit bigger, but do you see how this fits in it? So I've got that ledge that it sits on, and it sits nice and in it. Follow me so far. Okay. Call you silly. So this was called the what? Flange or the gallery? Flange. Flange. Flange is on the what? Lid or the body? Lid. Lid. Okay, now, are you guys paying attention? I'm going to come back to this. Remember how I made that extra thick? Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm literally going to take my wooden rib and I'm going to push part of that down and part of that in. Do you see how that works? 
So just like before, do I want an acute, a right, or an obtuse angle? Obtuse. Obtuse angle. Okay. And then I'm going to measure this width right here. Make sense? I can make it smaller, and then I would have to readjust, right? Your shape can be whatever you want to be, right? So I can just push in and make that there. I'm going to stop on this. So now the beautiful thing is, do I need any of this that I put on here? No. No. So I'm just going to take my needle tool and go bye-bye and take it off. And then basically, what am I making? What is this? A baby what? Bowl. Yeah, it's a baby bowl. So you can keep coming in. Now, you decide how much, like, arch you want. How much of a bowl shape is this? Not much, right? You can make it, like, dome shape. You can make it flatter. It's completely up to you how you want to go about it. How much clay am I using for this now? Not a lot. Not a lot. Okay. Pretty darn close. Take off that extra. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this and not lose it, hopefully. My hands are slippery. Um, I'll cut it off for you guys. <laughs> Got a wire cutter? Anyone see a wire cutter? It's still my from last year. Can you grab me one, please? This one right here. Perfect. Look at that. That was the one I was using before. Okay, so then this will come in. Now, here's the weird thing. Is why is this gonna look sort of janky? Because it's Cause not dry. dry. It's not dry, yeah. And the other thing is like, what's that edge happening? Uh, for the knot line. Yeah, because I haven't done what to make it round. Beautify it. With what? Which is, I didn't trim it. Pair tool. I didn't use my pair tool. I didn't use my loop tool to be able to make it that nice round aspect to it. Okay. Now there's one other lid and type of lid that we haven't talked about. And that is like how you would do a pumpkin and you would get all the pumpkin guts out. What do you got to do when you cut a pumpkin open? You stab it with a knife and you go at what angle? Down. Not straight down. A 45 degree angle, if you, do, if you go straight down, the whole thing's gonna do what? It's gonna fall in. So if I would go straight here, I would have to come in at a 45 degree angle. So if you wanted to make an animal teapot and the whole thing has no like seam, you would probably come in and just cut an angle and that could be then your lid. And then we'd have to figure out how to make a knob to be able to get that on and off. Okay, thanks for watching. <laughs>